Africa looking to see if they can head this one in. It's still going pretty strong. Ball had to be stopped. It was a quality display there. And so again, it's uh, South Africa dictating knocks here. She finds space. Base. Sani here, ball just sent back. And the captain, Dr. Rodney Okoka, said that plenty time balls are sent in for the right hand side. And uh, it is uh, it yeah. comes up. Smith there, good turn for her. She pull and she goes in, but this time it had to be saved. Jabrani Slama saving this uh, quality run. Slalom it was there from Siopo Sinway. Good play, South Africa looking to open up. A lot of runs, a lot of uh, pace. And again, the final touch. And oh, lovely, lovely play there from uh, Knox. And uh, this time, South Africa looking to hit this one in their post. And it's been hit wide. But that is where the qualities would have to, have to come in for. And South Africa, Kuala. With good chance to get it done. Trying to spray the passes there, South Africa. Lovely blood. And again, you're looking for this time. Super Sinway left all alone. Super Sinway! Ah. <laughs> it is Banyana Banyana. The early, the early bird certainly claiming the joy and the excitement is very early. And this is where. The team will feel they have their moments and they just have that time to see if they can finish the game with the lead they have. That was a clinical finish from Super Serie. I'm not surprised because she has everything it takes to be one of the top players in this team. She's, she's one of the star players in this competition. I'm not surprised there. Just pick your spot, place the ball. That is it. Good one from Super Serie. Her second goal in the competition, Siopo Sinwe. And so she moves to join the likes of uh, the Terbe, we feel it, to Lakele, Sandrine Yonyonguru, Uche Nakanu, and Diaye Ngwe. Into the South African penalty box, she does that, and it is going to be uh, a decision for a handball call there. And then Kobe said him, but uh, Kuali there with his ball in to the far post, and again it goes away when the ball was whipped in. And again, she finds herself in between us, the back line of uh, Trudy. And South Africa would have to be able to see if they can't save this situation. And this time it was McNoon who had the opportunity to see if she can get a first goal for the Tunisians. Make it the games. Yeah. But uh, when it finds you for again, oh, this time just uh, screaming here. It is Oni's ball into the penalty box of South Africa. And McNoon is there. And knocks there. Uh, no could get it out. Mamalepe will calm things and find space on the right hand side. Linda switching play. Sane. Again, it's inside. Here they go. And Iluji trying to chase into the boss. Iluji! Oh, and good block. Exciting block there by Mbani. And now it comes from the captain, Janet. No. In terms of accuracy of passing, oh, you can see the South Africans are really leading. 78 to 65, and Sani has been fouled here. And Desiree Ellis would be a little bit concerned. I mean, it's been sent to the left hand side. It comes Sani, and she hits this one. And um, fortunately, Knox didn't quite get the chance she was looking for to get the first goal in the competition. Again, a good part Africa would have to find a way here. And they chase in Super Sinway. Linda is in there to pounce on it. And unfortunately, even if she had, the flag would have gone up against her by the Nigerian assistant referee on the far side. And the goal scorer Super Sinway. And so this could be the first moment where again Sane was hoping she could just uh, tag in for a goal for herself, but the flag already up there from offside. A good run there from uh, Siopo Sinwe. Sani was just whooping and uh, she could just do this. He caught for the ball. Press uh, Tunisia, they do press and this time again, ball into the middle. Yeah, there's space now for uh, Knox. Now she goes in, Knox, and this time Sani just couldn't quite do the situation, but then the flag had gone up against her again. Second time in the 18 yard box to make it 2 0 for South Africa and
Sane has just simply not been able to see the guy to put it when Diaz scored and this time he's going he's falling but Dile comes out she couldn't grab it for the first time and South Africa will just get off the wood there and Sane was able to recycle the ball pretty well but again it was a very dangerous ball into the penalty box and South Africa and Dile had difficult to deliver it into the penalty box she does it there as uh, it was Singwe but the header to that ball was wide the good thing is that the fans of Osiwe this time. And Kashi scored a third goal in the competition. Still for Siwe. And Sane is waiting. Sane! Oh, oh, South Africa really getting the most of the chances there. And I tell you what, maybe it's not her night today. Sane just trying almost everything. Still for Siwe just giving her the time and space for her to score her very first goal in the competition. But I tell you what, she was in a very good position. Went through the goalkeeper, Super Sinwe out. And it's now beginning to find space. Mamey driving the ball down to the right hand side, and this time McNoon just can't deal with Andili. Was a left on the occasion. Blamin is not a well. Trying to retain the crowd. South Africa with uh, Super Sinwe. And once again, it has to be tucked on the feet for a corner kick. But Sinwe is in there. Flag has not gone up. Again. Scrappy decisions uh, coming in from uh, Tunisia, putting themselves in a very awkward, awkward position. South Africa having a few day in their defensive line. It's been a pretty much difficult attempt there by Tunisians to get themselves out. And every time he's done right, it comes in Barney. Oh, lovely. And to Gibrani, to the ball. Luigi trying to go around. And Luigi, the first goes to ground. The run official says, no, that is not the penalty. She looked, uh, she took a critical look at it. And realized that it was a legal, legal tackle there on Iluji. That, that was a good uh, white play from uh, the Tunisia team. Ibachi sends it to the front post. And Dili is always going to be there to deal with it. Very comfortable with it for. Yeah, it's very capable. Yeah, very capable. Ball goes into the penalty box of Tunisia. Again, a delivery. It's been well dealt with, but again, it's going to be a decision. Which, of course, is not going to be. Uh, But again, it's going to be this one. From Tunisia's point of view, they thought they can Kabachi with that long range for there. The last 19 minutes of the game, Tunisia looking for some openings. They have had one. I think it's something they are willing to do. And this time, straight to the waiting arm. Looking for the lovely run there of uh, Nux Zani. Oh, again, she's. What else do you expect them to do? What else sure that, do you expect South Africa I'm, to do? I'm not too sure that Nox Sani really has a goal here. She's seen plenty of opportunities. Just missed goal scoring as she trains regularly there. Super Sinwe. Melinda in the target! Oh, Melinda really looking to get the second. Good control on the chest there. And she blasted wide. She controlled the ball really well. But then. The finish again, disappointed. Oh God, that was a good delivery. What? It counts Melinda in the penalty box. Melinda trying to drill it to the far side. Again, a timely, timely clearance there coming through for the big uh, centre-back for the Tunisians. Arnie, she's been overworking tonight. And 21 goal. 